Johnny here, guys, and today we're talking about some new Mamba releases. Dietone sent me over a bunch of Mamba stuff. I've just been putting it in builds, and I realized, you know what? Over the years, there's been one component stack that I've used more than any other component stack of all time, and it's the Mamba. Yeah, I have builds today that have the MK2 version, the MK3 version, um, they're just so inexpensive. They work so well. The 30 by 30, the 20 by 20, they're just almost foolproof. You know, I do at this point get sent a lot of different components and I try them. A lot of them are actually pretty good these days, but finding that intersection of low price and good is a little bit trickier. So when it comes to building up something that I'm actually going to fly for my own personal self, maybe not show on the channel, I find myself picking the Mamba more and more. You know, the open racer that's coming up, that's got a Mamba MK3 20 by 20 in there. And they've just come out with a new version. This is the Mamba MK3 F722 mini stack. And they have finally done something I've been begging them to do for, it seems like forever which is to change the pad layout. That was the downside of these small Mamba stacks prior to this, was trying to use those gosh damn tiny pads. And for whatever reason, even though they have four sides to work with, they would always put all the ones you need to use on the left side only. Why not spread them out, guys? What do I need to get, like an electron microscope to solder that thing up? It's what it felt like. What is this? Uh, but now they fixed that, giving you some luxuriously large pads to go along with this thing. Oh, thank you, Dietone. Did you finally listen to me? Uh, hopefully, I'm going to say that they did and take credit for that. So you're welcome, guys. The other thing they sent me is these new 1206 Mamba Motors, 4500 KV. Mm. If you saw that video the other day of the Hornet HD 3-inch DJI build that I made, that was those motors. The bell design on these are so beautiful on this new Toka line. Here is the 2004 version of the Toka that's going on this 4-inch Shocker light. Um, I'll put the links to that Hornet HD review so you can see that flight footage and this review so you can see this flight footage. Um, the bells are really a bit thicker and sturdier than you've come to notice on these ultralight motors and you also have a bit of really nice styling. The orange inserts in here really just make it look like a luxury wheel that would go on a racing car or something like that. Beautiful design. Um, I'm going to have to say this is one of the first products lines that I'm going to just say this is certified fresh. It gets five out of five Johnny Five logos um, because when it comes to selecting components, it's really hard to say one company is almost always going to treat you right, regardless of it's their motors, their bind and flies or their stacks. They're not paying me to say this. They did send me these motors and this stack, but I've bought more Diatone Mamba stacks than any other type of stack. You know, I have to buy a lot of stuff to keep this channel running and I only get sent stuff every now and again. So when it comes to where I put my money, that's where I do it. And now it's built up easier than ever. Let's check out some of this delicious looking packaging. Here you can kind of see the evolution of these Mamba stacks. This is the kind of container that came with way back in 2017 or so. And then you can see here, this is the MK2 and it had 25 amps. If you look at this newer style version in this little Altoids 10, this is what it came with more recently, the MK3, and you can see they've stepped it up with a nicer presentation, lots of gummies, of course, all of your cables and harnesses and everything. And here is the latest version. It comes in this neat little packaging that takes up a little bit less room. I love these containers. You can use them for 
anything. And oh my goodness, check that out. Look how beautiful this is. Oh man, here is one of those original versions right here. And what do you notice right off the bat? You see these tiny little microscopic pads? That was always my biggest complaint, always. Now you finally have pads that you can actually see and solder to. Look at this arrangement of little gummies that you have that you can put, depending on what type of build you're coming with, there are the power leads in there. Some extra hardware. Oh, I love that it comes with this. I'm always without this. It comes with a capacitor and an XT60. So even though this is 2020, this bumps the power upwards. This is now rated at 40 amps all the way from way back here when they were only at 25. I'm um, taking it all the way up. This is the F722 version of the MK3 Mini. And I mean, this is now the perfect component stack. I'm already using this version here in full size racing builds. I mean, the racing build that I raced this weekend had this in it. And now this improves the formula even more. And for the price, I mean, I just had to showcase some of this Mamba stuff because I've been using it on the builds. I get sent a lot of different stuff to try, but whenever I'm gonna take a build that I know has to work every time for the race course, I pick the Mamba. So, I mean, I think that's worth sharing with you guys. What do you think in the comments, guys, what are you using? Do you like this type of content? Certified freshness. I think I'm gonna do a round of this every year. This is the stack version. We'll check out the frame and the other component versions very soon. I've also started up a Patreon. Um, I don't know what this is for. Everybody else has one. If you want to help me make the content, feel free to join. You don't have to. Don't feel like you have to. You can come enjoy this content for free. I would appreciate it if you just are handing Patreon dollars out left and right. I mean, I, I, I don't know, guys. It's there, you know, but don't feel like you have to even if you just give me a thumbs up or leave me a hateful comment, tell me that you think my beard looks crazy and my hair is stupid. Um, I'll appreciate that too. Thanks guys.